Hello people, so uh, this is uh, lectures on uh, inertial navigation and in these lectures we're going to cover the concept of attitude uh, and for to define attitude we need the coordinate system then we're going to talk about inertial navigation in general the concepts and how it's uh, we, we make the measurements we're going to talk about inertial navigation system uh, the source of errors that affect inertial positioning and navigation uh, if we want to talk about integration with other sensors such as GPS or GNSS we have to talk uh, well common filter is a very good uh, uh, estimation process and uh, we're going to talk about integration with GNSS so let's start with attitude attitude is basically the description of the movement of a moving body a moving platform and I'm going to be generic here I'm going to try to use the term moving uh, moving platform to indicate well a vehicle uh, or a boat or an airplane or a, a, a satellite and uh, but we can only have we can only define the attitude of this moving platform if we have a coordinate system so what is uh, the importance of attitude uh, well we need to know uh, for example where the sensors uh, point during the data collection so in air survey if you want to get the uh, the horizontal the, the vertical uh, the camera exactly the vertical uh, we uh, we need to know the attitude so we can then answer if the uh, the question if the uh, if the camera was pointing straight down or it was tilted Attitude can be determined by many different ways. Uh, we have inertial systems, GPS system, uh, and uh, our fo others. We our focus, of course, is with inertia. How we're going to represent attitude? We're going to represent the attitude uh, of these uh, these uh, rigid body, which is our moving platform. Uh, we are going to consider its center of gravity, and we are going to consider three translational and three rotational movements so uh, we can think of position and velocity uh, characterizing the translational motion for example you can think of, um, of um, uh, earth centered earth fixed Cartesian coordinates uh, X Y Z or you can think in their counterparts latitude longitude and height and the velocity components are usually given along the north the local north the east local east and the up components attitude and orientation or orientation these are two the, their synonyms uh, they are going to basically uh, tell us the rate of change of the orientation of this rigid body uh, with respect to a uh, fixed coordinate system so uh, what we need then is uh, for the attitude to describe these uh, three rotations that a body fixed coordinate system will suffer with respect to an external coordinate system let us talk about the um, two coordinate systems that you have seen before in geodesy which are going to be important uh, for our definition of the uh, attitude let's begin with the uh, earth center earth fixed coordinate system uh, that is uh, what we call the convention terrestrial system uh, the have an examples the uh, uh, the international terrestrial reference frames it is a system that is centered at the earth center of mass we have the uh, x and y axis along the equator and the z axis pointing uh, towards the uh, north celestial pole <clears throat> and uh, we have geodetic latitude longitude and geodetic height defining uh, position of a point on the surface at the surface we can define the um, local 
uh, in this case here we have to call the local coordinate system or local level system it's nothing else but the uh, uh, the local astronomical system uh, sorry the local geodetic system and uh, it is defined its origin at this the uh, uh, center of gravity of the uh, of the moving platform the x-axis pointing towards the north y-axis east and z-axis points up <coughs> so um, uh, with, with that in in mind we can then uh, present a body fixed coordinate system uh, which is rigidly attached to the vehicle its sent its origin will be uh, coinciding with the uh, local uh, coordinate system at these the vehicle center of mass the uh, movements uh, that we're going to call the roll pitch and yaw will define then the uh, uh, variation of the body frame coordinate system the body fixed coordinate system uh, with respect to the local coordinate system <coughs> And uh, let's see an example of the body fixed coordinate system uh, consider this aircraft uh, we have then the X axis uh, and uh, we are going to call the roll axis uh, we're defining here a pitch axis uh, pointing towards the uh, the right hand side we call the uh, yeah, that's the Y axis and they're going to define the uh, Z axis uh, pointing up uh, now in this case forming our uh, uh, Cartesian system the z-axis is known as the yaw axis so uh, let's see what happens then in terms of variations uh, if we have uh, the uh, a rotation around the x-axis uh, that's what we call the roll uh, and uh, if we have a uh, rotation around the y-axis that's the pitch and the yaw is basically the azimuthal variation <clears throat> so how do you relate the body fixed coordinate system uh, and the local uh, coordinate system uh, by means of uh, rotation matrices so if you cons if you have on the right hand side the uh, vector a vector in the body fixed coordinate system and you want to relate it to the local uh, coordinate system uh, we can do that by applying three rotations the first rotation around the pitch and then we have the rotation uh, r2 around the uh, sorry the, the r1 around the row then the pitch rotation and the yaw rotation or the heading and um, now one thing that we have to mention that uh, these uh, uh, the signs that we have for positive or negative pitch roll in yaw will depend on how we define the coordinate system the, the body fixed coordinate system uh, the, its definition may vary from case to case inversely uh, we have by, by applying the properties of rotation matrices uh, we just uh, apply the rotations in inverse order with uh, with the negative sign of the argument so uh, let's look here a uh, consider the um, uh, local conventional system local um, coordinate system uh, pointing towards the north pointing toward the east and point up this is fixed in space and uh, now what we have here at a particular given time we have the body the uh, the vehicle moving and uh, it may think that uh, the vehicle is uh, is going up a hill or uh, and it's making a turn so which means that uh, the uh, the uh, uh, xyz axis or the body fixed coordinate system they are a uh, uh, with a different orientation with respect to our fixed local coordinate system and uh, we can then define the uh, the uh, horizontal movement that is the yaw uh, and it is happening along the uh, its measure along the um, the uh, plane containing the north and the east uh, we then have the uh, the pitch 
which is the angle around the, the y-axis. And finally, we have the rho, uh, which is the angular motion around the x-axis. So um, if we then consider the rotation matrices, as we, we know them, rotation matrix are around the uh, primary axis, um, the rotation matrix around the tertiary axis and the rotation matrix around the secondary axis. We can now evaluate the whole uh, rotations uh, and uh, we come up with a big matrix here, a three by three, uh, in that is the, the, the result of the product. And um, we are going to call each one of these elements, uh, in this case, uh, R with a subscript. So the uh, element R11 uh, is going to be cosine theta, cosine psi, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Now this is important because uh, we can then uh, use these uh, matrix that we're going to call the attitude matrix uh, to compute pitch, roll, and yaw. So, for example, if you consider the element uh, 3, 1, uh, it gives us directly the pitch of an element. So, if you, if you know the value of a minus sine theta, uh, then we know that the pitch is going to be the arc sine of this, this value. And, uh, and from that on, we can uh, obtain the uh, equations for uh, uh, roll and yaw. <clears throat> so what happens here is something that is very interesting because we can determine we can determine the um, uh, we can, uh, we can either have the uh, the at uh, the uh, attitude the, the 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 members the entries of the attitude matrix uh, determine or we can we can have the uh, a pitch roll and then you have the uh, the members of the attitude so uh, and what the attitude matrix is going to be important it's going to be important because we will have to apply these uh, this correction uh, the uh, the rotations all the time in such a way that we have the representation or the relation between the local uh, coordinate system and the body fixed coordinate system